Well, I have no idea if we can be best friends, but I'm old enough to know this song. It's time for reaction. Happy Father's Day, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd, and uh, I was sitting down with my kids. My girls were there around the table, and they had just given me all their presents for Father's Day, and I was I was doting over my kids because that's what I do and because they blow me away every time I'm around them. And I took a picture of the card they got me because they got me this vintage holographic uh, Star Wars card um, for Father's Day, which I thought was awesome. So I took pictures of it, and I posted it on Instagram. And when I tried to post it on Instagram, I saw that there was... Miss Orlandi was playing a song and I it said on the thing if you know this we can be best friends and I was like well, what song is she singing and so I clicked it and started playing and I recognized it immediately and none of my kids do <laughs> because all of my kids are not 40 plus years old the song is of course from the movie Labyrinth and it's sung by the incomparable late great David Bowie um, you know, twirling his uh, crystal orb in his hand, messing with crazy puppets and what appears to be the 1980s version of Kristen Stewart pre-Twilight. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay because Labyrinth is not only a classic movie of my childhood, but it's still a better love story than Twilight. This is Vada Orlandi. Apparently, she just grabbed a camera, grabbed a spotlight, her makeup on, put it on some kind of 80s graphic, even put the VHS camera dating up at the top. So it really looks like she's back in the 80s, grabbing her guitar like every teenage girl did and videoed themselves singing this song to David Bowie. That's what I'm catching. I mean, some of y'all may not notice this stuff, but she's really trying to age this. I mean, this, the color bleed in the corners of the spot and the way it's chroma keyed out, where you can see the blue and the red, like it's set for 3D, right? You can almost put 3D glasses on and see it in 3D, but with this little dating right here, that, that looks like a camcorder from the 80s, so I see where she's going with it. Looks like a great idea. My name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts, the Patreon link for those who want to support the channel, and the merchandise store. This is Miss Father Orlandi, and she's covering David Bowie on Father's Day. All right. Look, look the jump, look the jump, look. Oh my God, this is so 80s. This is so horribly 80s, it's great. There's such a sad love Deep in your eyes, a kind of pale jewel Open and closed within your eyes I'll place the sky within your eyes I don't want to stop it. It has nothing to do with the music. Uh, but I, I do want to say something real quick. Because old camcorders were had those mini 8 cassettes uh, that played it similar to an 8-track, um, and then it moved up to V8. You could, have, you, could have some, you could actually record on a full VHS on a backpack. When you used to record these back then, because they were electromagnet cassettes and 8-tracks and even the video cameras, because they had those mini 8s um, in there, any exposure to age or magnetic interference or just static would cause the screens to digitize in the bottom and lose magnet uh, the magnetic field in them. So that's why you're getting that flapping on the bottom. I understand that a lot of the kids that are seeing this right now Especially if you're a fan of Valor Orlandi and you're under the age of, I don't know, 35, 40 years old, you don't get this. But if you're like me and most of the people that watch my channel, you're like, she went back in time. Okay, now let's talk about the music. Just hearing her sing this in that vibrant, deep, rich alto that she does, does remind you of 
David Bowie's metamorphosis in the 80s. He had gone through so many different iterations of himself through the years. He, he constantly inter- it reinvents himself. This song that he sang in Labyrinth is in his deep tone. Where he's talking like this. He's just, you know, he's doing his um, macabre fantasy fairy godmother's pimp. <laughs> I just made that up. Fairy godmother's pimp, but he's doing this almost like a lounge singer um, trail off in a lot of his notes. And I can't think of anybody who can do that better on purpose than that lady right there. There's such a full heart beating so fast in search of new dreams. A love that will last within your heart. I'll place the moon within your heart. As the pain sweeps through, makes no sense for you. Every thrill is gone, wasn't too much fun at all. But I'll be there for you. As the world falls down, falling. The magnet, the magnet. Doing the polar reversal on the bottom of the the V hold on the screen is perfect. I'll paint your mornings of gold. I'll spin your Valentine evenings, though we're strangers till now. We're choosing the path between the stars. I'll lay my love between the stars. As the pain sweeps through, it makes no sense for you. Every thrill is gone, wasn't too much fun at all. But I'll be there for you. Okay, seriously, she could have taken the DeLorean <laughs> and gone back to 1985 and seen Labyrinth, grabbed her, gram- her mother's camcorder, shot this, buried it in a time capsule, dug it back up yesterday and played it, and this is exactly what it would look like. This is what kids were doing in, in 84 and 85. I mean, everyone had a camcorder, but nobody knew what to do with it. They didn't know about lighting. And anything you did shot, anything you shot, I mean, now, if it, you were lucky, it would look like this. Most VHSs or most um, handy cam ham, hand quarters of the 80s, they would be completely demagnetized after 40 years. It's perfect. She had to get up to turn it off. She eat, that's the best part. In the beginning of the video, you could see where she turns the camera on. She sits down in front of it with her guitar and she's setting up. You can hear all the background noise because it's she's just doing it at her house. Like she she stole her dad's camcorder and taped over her parents' wedding to, sh- <laughs> to shoot a cover of the song that she just learned because she just saw Labyrinth for the first time and she just she just fangirled before fangirling was even a word she just totally fell in love with <laughs> with david bowie and she just recorded this song okay and because it's the 1980s and there aren't remote controls for this stuff she had to get up walk around the camcorder and push the red button to turn it off 
Then she took the tape out, right? And she took the tape out and she put it on a time capsule. She buried it in the ground and she just dug it up yesterday. And here we go. That's exactly what this is. I mean, don't be fooled by the. Oh my God. <laughs> She's doing her Patreon links. She's doing her Patreons. Like the way you would put credits in a head in a handy cam because it's all typed out in commodore 64 apple 2 fonts that are just straight up apple fonts and this is something she picked up from word from word perfect no not word perfect um yeah it'd be word perfect probably and look they're all they're all demagnetized on the bottom the v holds all messed up that's awesome This is so good. This is so good. Wow. Okay. So my name is Old School Nerd, and uh, this is uh, Violet Orlandi um, traveling back, traveling back in the Back to the Future of Michael J. Fox, uh, Marty DeLorean time machine. She's traveling back to the early 80s. She's stealing her her grandfather's handy cam uh seeing labyrinth for the first time sitting down recording a song a love song to her new boyfriend her, her dream man that she dreams of marrying one day david bowie and then she buries it in a time capsule and on father's day 2021 digs it up and she plays it for us in all of its 1980s 40 years later glory this is awesome because this is me. This is, this is like 11 year old me when this all happened. Well, I mean, not, I'm not 11 year old. I'm not 11 now. I'm, I act like I'm 11, but I'm, I'm not. I swear. How?